Looks like it keeps going. Woo! This is scary. What's up everyone and welcome back to another video here on Coastal Trails Media and today in this episode of Maximize Minimal Living we're doing something that truly scares the crap out of me. We're going caving. Now New Brunswick is really great because right here in the middle of St. John there's a beautiful park called Rockwood and Rockwood has about three different sets of caves that are actually pretty deep and so in today's video we're going to be exploring Harbella's cave which is about a 74 meter cave. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get kitted up we're going to go and kind of poke into the cave and see how possible this is and we'll go from there. So let's do that. Here goes nothing. All right, so we're officially in the Hard Bells Cave. Now, as you can see, it's pretty tight. There's not a lot of room. I can barely turn my head around. Um, the walls are absolutely crawling with spiders. There are spider nests hanging from the ceiling. So this is probably a good time to tell you that I'm not a huge fan of being underground, and I'm definitely not a huge fan of super confined spaces like this where I have to move around in them. So this is pushing my, uh, my fear a little bit, and there's also quite a bit of water in the cave right now, which means I'm about to step in probably ankle to halfway up knee deep water. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna, all we can do now is push ahead, face the fear, breathe our way through it, and keep going. two paths, but it looks like the water's going that way. So I feel like the smartest thing to do, at least for now, is to fight our way along here and check out just around that corner. So, gotta make sure we don't hit our heads. Stay close to the rock. Ugh. Looks like it keeps going. Woo! This is scary. At this point, there's a slot that opens up just around the corner here where the water's going. So it's gonna make moving through this cave a lot easier at that point. But right now, we're literally just sliding, up, sliding on our bellies and we have to commit to it and we just gotta keep going. So let's make it around that corner and let's check it out. Come back. Don't get stuck. Yeah, that's that's exactly. All right, so we attempted Harbell's Cave. As you can tell, I am much worse for wear. It's super tight, and I think it's really important, especially with last week's video that addressed talking about like dealing with your fears and facing them. It is super important to face them, but it's also way more important when you're doing things that are potentially risky to know when to pull the plug. It's not worth putting yourself in a situation that is potentially harmful or where you could get stuck to, in order to boost your ego or in order to say that you faced your fear. There are different ways of doing it and sometimes in specific scenarios you have to just call it quits and leave well enough alone and move on. And so I think that's what we have to do with this today. Maybe we'll try and check out some of the other caves in the region, um, but personally this is not worth it for me, at least at this moment in time. Maybe next summer or at a later date, we can come back and try it again. 
but right now I think we're better to uh, you know move on and let bygones be bygones. So we're at the second cave now, which is Howe's Cave. It's a little bit further in Rockwood, a little bit more secluded. And I don't know exactly what we're getting into. So the last cave didn't work out so great. Hopefully this one will go a little bit better. We're just gonna poke in and see. Again, if it looks like a no-go, we'll call it and we'll come back out and that's that. But at least for now, to take a courage pill and get down into the bowels of the earth. Definitely a tight squeeze, but I think we can poke in a little bit deeper, see how deep we can actually get. Like I said, I have no idea what's at the end of this thing. I know we're not walking in water, so it's already a one up from the last time. So let's go and check that out. Yeah. Oh, cold on the stomach. Looks like I'm gonna have to go in first. Whoa. I mentioned I hate tight spaces. Now. Definitely helmet next time. Good idea. This keep this seems a lot more open now. And it's honestly making me a lot more comfortable than I was in the last time. So we've gone through the bottom now, and there's a much bigger chamber here. You can actually probably hear the echo. Hopefully you can hear the echo. But this at this point doesn't seem too bad at all and I'm pretty comfortable moving forward, so let's do that. So it's much bigger in here even than it was in the last one. It kind of goes up, but I think we'll keep following it down and go from there. Keep going. Dead and decomposing. I think this is where this cave at least stands. So it looks like that's the end of the cave here and you know it's kind of cool we did fail to a certain extent on the last one and uh, I think my fear and my rationality got the best of me there but at least here we got to try it again and you know, we got to conquer said fears and I feel a lot more comfortable in here definitely than I did before so you know, it's uh, it was a cool experience. It's cool to think that this is really, really accessible in the center of the city. And obviously it's not like that everywhere, but at least here, we can take advantage of it. So now we just gotta climb back out. <laughs>
Oh wow, it's beautiful in here looking back up. There's so much pyrite on the ceiling. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's all the same rock. So now we can officially see daylight and there's kind of no better feeling in the world, to be honest, than to know you're about to get back to the surface. So, no time like the present. Ugh.